Hey travelers! Today we're continuing our California coastal tour and we're very excited to show you the beautiful city of Monterey. We'll take you along the famous and breathtaking 17 mile drive. We'll also make a quick pit stop to the neighboring town of Carmel by the sea for a quick bite to eat and circle back to Monterey where we'll further explore this gorgeous coastal gem. We love taking you along with us, so if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Hey travelers, we are in Monterey, California today, and right now we are on the 17 mile drive, the tour. Look at this beauty right here. This is stop number three or four on a 17 mile tour. Spanish Bay. And as you can see, it is beautiful out here. You got surfers in the distance. Stay with us today because we are going to be going to Carmel. We are going to be going to the Monterey Fisherman's Wharf. So stay with us travelers as we bring you all the exciting content from today. In 1881, the 17-mile drive gained its fame for its beauty. To this day, visitors from all over the world come to admire this coastal area. It's crazy to think that before the automobile, you would see horse-drawn carriages along the 17-mile drive. There are a total of 17 points along the way where you can stop and take in Mother Nature's beauty. Look at this beautiful spot. This is just past stop number four on the tour called Restless Sea. The Restless Sea stop is just right over there. But if you drive down just a little more, you can see here there's a turnout and uh, you get to take in these views, guys. It is beautiful out here. What do you think, baby? It's gorgeous. Look at over there. It sounds beautiful, too. Guys, so we've made it to stop number six on the 17 mile tour, and this is called China Rock. And as you can see over here, we've got all kinds of rocks that are stacked up and balancing. Take a look at these. We have made it to stop number eight on the tour here called Seal Rock. What do you think, love? Gorgeous. Such a beautiful day today in Monterey. You guys look, just look at this view out here. It is beautiful. It's a pathway right here. You make your way down and you come out to this beautiful beach. Nice, clear, green water. And just look at this. Take it in, California coast. We were just looking, if anybody's curious, what it costs to live around here. As you can see, there's homes right on the other side. We didn't get you a price for the homes, but we did find out that a condo, just in this area here, the 17 mile drive area, costs about $2.5 million. So you can imagine what a home goes for. But let's get you guys closer to the water and take a look. Look at the birds. All right guys, so as you can see, we're here at the Lone Cypress. For more than 250 years, the world famous Lone Cypress has braved the elements atop its rocky pedestal overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Known as the midway point on the original 17 mile drive, the iconic tree has been the logo for Pebble Beach Resort since its founding in 1919. That little tree, just chilling by itself. So as you can see, when you park your car here by the lookout point, this is lookout point number 12 on the 17 mile tour. Park your car and then just walk down a little bit and you'll see some stairs here. And these stairs lead you down to a better lookout. Gorgeous day today. It sure is, you guys. There she is. After the Lone Cypress, you'll see the ghost trees at the next stop and eventually pass the famous Pebble Beach area, which is known as the golf capital of the world and for having one of the most breathtaking golf courses.
the beautiful town of Carmel and the streets are crowded with locals and people coming from out of town to enjoy the weather. What do you think of Carmel, baby? So far, so good. Very cutesy town. Lots of different shops and Isn't restaurants. That time? Beautiful shops and restaurants. And what else, love? Just great weather. All right, guys, we are here at the Pangea Grill in beautiful Carmel. Take a look at the menu. And you can see we'll take you inside and try some of the food with us. All right, guys, so we are here at lunch. And, baby, what'd you order? I had the mushroom ravioli. And I got a chicken sandwich. Chicken club sandwich. No lettuce, no aioli. Oh, and I ordered the beef salad, too. Oh, good. I'm looking <laughs> at that. All right. All right, guys, our lunch has arrived. As you can take a look here California chicken club, avocado, bacon, tomato chicken, fries, got a beet salad, delicious red and gold beets, and my love, what'd you get? Mushroom ravioli. Mushroom ravioli, take a look at it. <laughs> Delicious. All right guys, so we just left the Pangea Grill and lunch was delicious. My love? Amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. The chicken had a beautiful taste. Uh, it was a nice grilled, smoky taste. And how is your mushroom oh, ravioli? It's just nice and creamy with some fresh vegetables and arugula. So good. So now we're just gonna walk around Carmel here and uh, kind of give you guys a, a walking tour as best as we can. Try not to get hit by the Tesla here. This is a nice little town. Yeah, it is. Very cute. So our walk along downtown continues. Here you see we got a little Swiss chocolate shop. You want to go in? Oh yeah. Let's go in and check it out. And we are coming into the candy shop. And look at this. Mm. Right, so what are we going to get, guys? I think we should get some of this right here. Homemade salted caramels? Try it. All right, guys, so this is called the Cottage of Sweets down here. Down here. Oh, no. Oh, look at this pistachio. Oh, it would be truffle. If you're in town, make sure you check out the Carmel Bakery. Because there is a line for sweets. Holy moly. So. You want to get a Carmel Christmas ornament? If you want to. Let's look. We are looking Christmas ornaments. Travel. We like to get an ornament from where we go. So this is our stop number one of the new year. I like these. Which one? Mm -hmm. We won't like. I like the blue one. There it is. That's our ornament. Like, subscribe, comment below. You may win it. So, as you can see, we've changed it up. We've left Carmel, and we are now in the beautiful city of Monterey. And we came to the Old Wharf, which is right there, the Old Fisherman's Wharf. I want to take you guys around so you can check out Old Fisherman's Wharf and what they have here. So let's go. You guys, take a look at this. Awesome little wharf it resembles Pier 39 in San Francisco. It really does. But we're in Monterey. Come get clam chowder served in a sourdough bowl. Fresh seafood. Let's go look at that. Look at marinated calamari, crab cocktail, oyster shucks, baby. All that here, ocean front at the old Monterey Wharf. Wharf General Store, guys. Oh. Wharf Chocolate Factory. Another one. Aw, this is super cute. Yeah. Souvenir shop. So as you guys can see, they have souvenirs, they have plenty of seafood. Look at here, yeah. big kahuna family platters. Whoa, look at that. You guys, look at local crab. Dungeon of Season is in full effect. And that's what you get here. Look at these. Baby, you see these Dungeoness? I know, they look good. Oh, 
posters. Live ones in the tank. So another place that we live right next to and have never been to. <laughs> Uh, it's that pretty we come awesome. to every year for my work. Good, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> come down to Crab Louis. <laughs> <laughs> Dominicos on the wharf, guys. Look at fresh oysters. If you are a seafood foodie, which this I am. Is, which, yes, Vanessa is, you guys got to come down here. And now we're just going to make our way around the, uh, the little wharf here. And we'll take you guys with us. We are continuing our walk. And look, if you make a left turn as you're headed back down from the Fisherman's Wharf from the end, Monterey Bay Whale Watch Center, right across from them, Discovery Whale Watch. So safe to say, if you guys are looking for a whale watching trip, this is the place to come. Look at, they're seeing right now, they're seeing gray whales, humpback whales, and dolphin. Here's the report of recent sightings. Three gray whales they saw this morning. Last week, two gray whales, 55 dolphins, two sea lions, four killer whales. Wow. So guys, if you want to see some awesome sea life, this is where you got to come. Or Discovery Whale Watch Center. So if you make your way out here to the end of the wharf, you see this monument here dedicated to the fishermen that fish in these waters. So as you make your way off the wharf, you can take a look at what it looks like on the opposite direction. You got Dominicos on the wharf, fresh seafood. The Mercurio brothers, Chris fishing and whale watching. Anything that has to do with seafood, fish, whale watching, dolphins. You're gonna find it here. The weather is beautiful and it's uh, President's Day. So you can see there are plenty of people on the wharf walking around. So come on down, you guys. Check out Monterey Old Fisherman's Wharf and uh, you'll have a good time seeing something new. So coming off the wharf here and you head to the left, you'll see the waterfront here. You can see the boats. And then you got this uh, drummer and tambourine player. <laughs> Over here you got a bluegrass band. And here guys, there is a little market. Check it out, it's like a uh, little jewelry market, art market, crystals. Sand dollars, decorated sand dollars. Okay, so we are here in Cannery Row, Monterey, California. As you can see, the Sardine Products Company Incorporated. That's from way back in the day when this was a true fishing community. And you can see this is where the sardines used to be packaged <laughs> and uh, processed put in the cans, that's why it's called Cannery Row, and shipped out. We are making our way down to the beach here in Monterey. We saw a bunch of people off in the distance look like they're exploring some tide pools. So we are not ones to pass up a good tide pool. So we're gonna head out there and see what we find. And uh, let's have some fun exploring. Look, it says, based upon arrival, photo Chinese Fishing Village, Monterey, California, 1890, Cannery Road Business Association, 2010. You guys, we made it down to the beach, and as you can see, there's a lot of people just exploring the rocks, kids playing in the shore. It's uh, pretty awesome. We found some little tide pools here. For reference, we're right by the Fish Hopper restaurant out in the Monterey Bay. Let's take a look around. What do you think, love? Pretty awesome. It is very awesome. Oh, look at all those. Oh, yeah, look at all the mussels over there on the rocks. Can you eat them? We're in a low tide. So as you come up the stairs from the beach, you find yourself up here back on Cannery Row at the 
fish hopper restaurant. Vitality does uh, water massages, some candles, International Bazaar. And you find yourself at this statue here. <laughs> You're the bird on top of yeah. See the pigeon just hanging out on his head. And let's go see what this statue's all about. This is the Cannery Row Monument. As you can see, we've moved our location again. We are out here at the beautiful Monterey Bay Aquarium. And this is the backside of the aquarium. You can see right behind us here is the aquarium. And we just got so lucky on the weather today, you guys. It is warm, there's no wind, and there aren't that many people. Those are three things you don't expect to be all aligned when you come to Monterey and they align perfectly for us today because we need the best conditions to bring you guys the best content. So let's make our way out and uh, we'll show you some more of Cannery Row, some more of uh, this area. This right here is the backside of the aquarium. All of this structure here is Monterey Bay Aquarium. So we've left the aquarium. Now we're back on Cannery Row, walking around as you guys can see. They got a bunch of restaurants and shops. There's a little candy store, Cannery Row Shell Company, and crepes on the row. We may get a crepe. What do you think, my love? Let's look. All right. Maybe. Let's go inside, guys, and let's take a look. Hello. All right, guys, so we just ordered a crepe. Baby, tell them what kind of crepe we got. A banana, strawberry, Nutella, anything else? Maybe whipped cream. Probably. It's called the King Zaki crepe. The girl at the front desk, or at the register, she highly recommended it. All right, crepe is ready. Let's go pick it up, you guys. Look at this. Thank you. This looks delicious. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, look at this. Mm, mm, mm. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. All right, Vanessa's trying the first bite <laughs> of our crepe. You guys, this is delicious. That looks delicious. All right, first bite. Cheers. Really good. There is a nice tartness to it because of the strawberries and the Nutella just brings it all together. Mm. Try it, babe. Mm. Very good. Very Nutella-y, <laughs> but very good. We just had a delicious crepe and it was... Divino. Divino. Oh, we got the word, guys. Finally, it took all day, yeah. but we got it. Now, as you see, we're walking back down Cannery Row, making our way back to the car, and we're going to call it a day. As we are leaving Monterey for the day, we want to thank you for coming along on our Central Crow stop here with Carmel Monterey. And uh, stay tuned for upcoming videos. We are leaving the country and gonna bring you some footage from somewhere. If you decide to travel with TV Travels to Monterey, comment below and let us know how you liked it. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you soon for our next TV Travels adventure.